Hi there, uh, I'm Pat Nevin, former footballer and currently working in the broadcast industry. Um, I'm here at HRBR um, basically because I was told to do it. The reason why I was told, I was working for a television company over in the UK and uh, I was told at the end of one programme, do you know what, were you losing your hair now? You probably won't get much more work with us. I was shocked, I was stunned. I didn't really know how to take it because I thought what I was saying was the most important thing, you know, hopefully being understandable, lucid, intelligent, you know, insightful. But no, they expected to me to look a certain way as well. Um, so how did I take that? Was I offended? Was he doing it to be bad in any way? Or was he just trying to be helpful, honest in an industry that that's accepted? I took it in a positive light and thought, okay, he knows what he's talking about. Um, the work is going to start drying up if I don't have something done about the receding hairline that I had. Now, I hear what you're thinking. Some people do work with, you know, shaved heads. Now, I'd had a go at that. I'd had to try that myself. For, unfortunately, like Billy Conley often used to say, I look like the accused. It just didn't suit me at all. I tried my best, but it didn't suit. So I had a little think about it. And after looking around the internet, asking a few people, um, I decided to have a go at HRB. I came over in here and had a little chat to everyone and just felt with the incredibly professional attitude that the place had. And even the procedure itself. It was done in the January. I remember it well. The transfer window was open in the football season. And I thought, well, I'll get my transfer done. I've got a few days off. So I had the hair transferred from the back to the front. Six days later, I was doing a television programme in front of about five million viewers. Nobody noticed which goes to show you something that the procedure itself isn't that extreme. I've had many operations throughout my life um, and I've always dealt with them fairly well, but this doesn't even compare with them. I would say there was discomfort as opposed to any great pain. You don't even go under, you know, you're, you're wide awake during the procedure, you're watching videos or listening to music or whatever. I actually found it quite a relaxing number of hours, which was an unusual thing for me to say because I was quite busy at the time anyway. And I have to tell you, I'm very, very happy with how it's went. It's been fantastic. I do feel younger. I think the pictures that you do see um, show that it is an improvement. You feel more comfortable and confident in yourself. Now, I wasn't lacking confidence anyway, even, even on television. It wasn't something that affected me too much. But it's almost like it gives you that extra little boost. It's a less, extra little bit of overdrive that it gave me because it seemed to work so well for me. The thing that most frequently happens is people don't say, oh, I like your new hair or how your hair's been done, whatever. They just say, you're looking well or you're looking a bit younger today, oddly, but never seem to know why. I've not hidden it. And if anyone's ever asked me, I've said, no, no, I had some work done and I had the, the transplant done and explain where it is. And it's amazing that the first snigger is usually a nervous one, and the second one is, so where did you get it done? People are interested. Times are changing. I think there's been a stigma against having this sort of work done for a lot of people. Now, for myself, you know, I wasn't over-concerned about it before, but there are people that it's a big problem in their lives. And also, particularly younger men, or sometimes women than myself, they worry about it, they're concerned about it, they want to do it in a kind of hidden, kind of fearful way. It shouldn't be the case. It should be the case, it should be something you should be comfortable doing, open about. That's why I'm happy to speak about it here. Um, I'm very proud of the actors uh, and the ex-pro footballers and current pro footballers. I have to say they've been in the vanguard of having this sort of work done and not hiding it. So I'm happy with the work that's done he been done here. I'm happy with the professionalism. I'm happy with the outcome of it. But I'm also happy to say, if you're thinking about it and if you're worried about it, don't be. It's been a very positive experience for me.